Uh, well, let's kick off, shall we, with the Telegraph. Actually, no, Josh, can we start with the mail? Because uh, Prince Harry, how do you solve a problem like Prince Harry? Well, you just go on and on about it for days and end. I was hoping that today would be the day that we might have some other news, but this still seems to be it. I will say, looking at the Daily Mail front page, there's two things that I want to talk about before we get to Harry. Well, first of all, Richard Kay, who's a sort of famous columnist, has got a bit there saying how Diana would have been appalled at Harry's petty vindictiveness. I don't mind Rich Kay, but like that, I, I can't stand this kind of, this is what Princess Diana, like you don't know what Princess Diana would have thought or said. Quite disrespectful stuff, actually. Isn't yeah, it? I just get, that stuff annoys me, right? And the other thing is, but something on the good side, we got lose a stone in four weeks. Keto diet, <laughs> that's me and you, we, he, he helped me wow. lose a stone in four weeks, that's exactly what you well, did, you isn't did, it? You stopped eating carbohydrates and yeah. all the weight just melted off yeah. you and you even got a viral monologue out of it. I did get a monologue and then uh, I put it all back on. Anyway, less about that. But I know why, because apparently I'm told your wife prefers you as a chubster. She does like she what she does not like women being attracted to me. So she has ordered the food all to go back on basically. She's threatened by the looks. But anyway, let's get to what they're saying. Uh, Harry, my family helped drive out Megan. Mm. And um this is basically obviously the books coming out in a couple of days, but it's basically we've seen pretty much everything that's in it. a lot of like there's been a lot of sort of bilingual Spanish uh, English journalists who've had to speed read it over the last few days, and now we finally have got to the end of it. We've got all the information, but this is something new. He's done a he's done a, um, a TV interview with one of his close friends, and uh, and he's so sort it's of not exactly going to be Jeremy Pax. No, no, he's it? not getting massively challenged here. But there's a few little interesting things here. First of all, he's saying how he supported uh, Lady uh, Lady Hussey. I think yeah. that's good. I think most people are sort of coming around to maybe it was slightly overreactive in this, the moment. This, of course, is the former lady in waiting to the Queen who yeah. asked a lady of African origin or of African heritage where she really came yeah. from. I think so it was Harry's... just the fact that she went on or but, but oh, it's no, good that he's So like... Harry's backed her up. He's backed her up, uh, which is cool. But then there's stuff here that I think is a little bit ridiculous uh, where he's basically saying that... Oh, that the, the, they drove him away and they saw her as like, they're, they're talking about the Prince of Wales and Princess of Wales, essentially. And uh, basically saying they saw her as this... Um, Actually, divorced biracial actress. Now, I would argue that let's take away. Who knows what they said about this biracial thing? And I don't think that they said anything like that. But if 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 my son rocked up, all right, and it, or my brother or whoever said, came up and said, you know, I'm dating somebody. Yeah, they're divor they're divorced and they're American and they're an actress. I'd be like, that's some red flags going on there. Correct. Actress. I mean, I know some actresses. There are some great actors, but there are also some proper nutters out there, yeah. right? And divorce, that's not always a good look, no offence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't back you up on this, because yeah. uh, my girlfriend knows, obviously, I'm divorced. Yeah. My girlfriend's an actress. So I'll do a bit of acting. I don't want to put her off because I want to keep hold of this one. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> See, well, can I just say... I was specifically talking about your girlfriend, by the way. I just, want, I just I want to be very clear about that. Pre, pre the dark days before Mrs. Dolan, the filters on my Tinder were divorced American actress. So, oh, well, uh, yeah. you just who, missed that. Who just, knew? Just think of the trouble you've saved yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a brutal story. It just goes on and on and on, yeah. doesn't it? I, f I feel for him a bit, but I do think there's one thing that's overlooked on this. He's saying that he's, they, they uh, drove her out. They might have thought she's just a bit of a... Just a bit of hard work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I look, at, I look at the situation he now finds himself in, separate from his family, separate mm -hmm. from his mates, in a different country. I look at that and just think, there's a real control freak there. Yeah, somewhere oh. along the line, and that's just how I, I read it. And I, I, I feel for them both, but it's just getting a little bit tedious. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you feel that Harry has essentially been got at by this young woman? Has he been? Has he been sort of groomed and kidnapped? She's older than him, isn't I, she, or not? I is think, he is he under her spell like that snake yeah, I think, in, in I th the Disney, I think Disney cartoon? I think there is a big element of that in this. Uh, I don't think he's the brightest ticket. Uh, that you can buy, um, and I think I think there is it. He's fallen in love with someone. Is he one diamond he short of a crown? Maybe, yes, yeah. Uh, well, he's more than that, and he's a few steps away now <laughs> because he's been booted out. But I think there is an element of that. But you fall in love with who you fall in love yeah. with, don't you? And um, mm -hmm. uh, when you do, you got to back him up. He's made his choices. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. his wife. Yeah, he feels it's, like she's it's being attacked. True. Yeah. Even if she feels she's being attacked, whether it's justified or not, that her feelings of that. You know what? That's that's his job now. He's got to step up. Well, so he's done right. that. Too right. Well, look, Eddie, the Telegraph has uh, the same story, but a slightly different angle. William and Kate stereotype Meghan, Bain's Prince Harry. Well, yeah, I think the be I mean, I think the biggest problem with this whole situation is that the two ladies don't get on. Mm. And when that happens, as mm. you say, as a, uh, you've got to back your missus up, um, even. 
if in private you you might think, well, you know, can you just sort this out? You've got you've got to back your missus up. And I, but I think that's the key to this. Them two don't get on. There is a status. There is a level of status, and I just think one of them can't handle that. Well, yeah, yeah. that's right. Well, I mean, actually, no, probably both of them can't handle that. It's yeah. a bit unfair to say just one of them. But Except I think... that in the hierarchy, yeah. Kate's got the upper hand, right? She's, yeah, she's yeah, but probably... you know what, Kate Middleton, it's not like she's coming, she's royalty herself. You know, she's scum like us. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Correct. She married into it. <laughs> oh, so no, it's not like she's, she's like, she had, you know, she came from a very privileged background, but she wasn't like proper royalty and doing all the horses no. and all that stuff from. No, no, she's, she's, she's quite right. chavvy, really, isn't she? Yeah, she wouldn't be she, worried about When she about married her... uh, William, she had to get all those tattoos removed and everything. <laughs> or Andrew Tate tattoos. <laughs> Correct, yeah. And the nose ring. But um, uh, how about this then? Um, in can the, I just uh, go back on yeah, one go for it, though. Eddie. I'm not, I, the, the thing about, this is what does surprise me about this. Bringing it, bringing in the biracial thing, I think it is an issue, and I think it's actually highlighted here because when he says at one stage, uh, asked about when they rose concerns about the colour of the skin of the baby, yeah. which was raised, and he's asked, didn't you think that was essentially racist? And he says, I wouldn't, not having lived within that family. Like That's that. quite a <laughs> telling thing, I think. Well, yeah, he's sort of saying they're so they're, racist. They're so yeah. racist. Like, <laughs> but yeah. that's not really racist. Yeah. But then he does seem to be backtracking later on because in that interview Very that they made with Oprah Winfrey, they were basically yeah. insinuating that they were racist or someone had been racist. So now he's sort of been like, he's oh, well, not really. I mean, I don't Well, know. look, Josh, this... Race things a bit all over the shop, isn't it? Yeah. Because, I mean, I was horrified at the allegation that the royal family uh, had made a racist remark in, in relation to the baby. And I said at the time, you know, if that's the case, it needs to be investigated. It's not acceptable. Um, but however, then some people were arguing whether it was a racist comment or not in terms of to just go... What's the what, baby going to look like? What's the baby going to look like? Like, there's a different intonation, there's well, different... Well, I know when, when your missus was, was pregnant, I, I, said, I said to her, will the baby have glasses? Yes, and it made it very painful for her. And a beard. And, and the baby, <laughs> the baby, I get it, people don't realise, but when the baby was born, your, little, your first child, mm. uh, was a little girl with glasses and a beard, and uh, I know it's been challenging. <laughs> it's been very... <laughs> um, this race thing is confusing because there's a clip of Meghan Markle uh, in, uh, in her early 30s talking about um, race in America mm. um, and how she was made to feel like, you know, a foreign person because of the colour of her skin. And then, more recently, she said that the first time race had ever been an issue is when she came to this country. Now, uh, this couple do contradict themselves. If they were in court, mm. the, uh, the judge would be raising his eyebrows, wouldn't he? Well, she, she's done a thousand contradictions. That's the point, is the more that she says, the more that these kind of weird little half-truths come out. Also, I'd argue, this is a very different country to America. I think in America, people's ethnicity is much more prominent, yeah. and it definitely seems to be less of a factor here where you just get on with it.